Yeah, my name is Andrew Bosworth. Most people call me Boz. Uh, I am an engineering manager at Facebook. Been there about four years. Uh, I was the architect of Newsfeed, kind of the first viral engine on the internet. And uh, since then, I've, I've worked on a lot of different infrastructural projects. So, pretty familiar with the product. Been here a long time. Cool. So, uh, in your in your earlier presentation, you talked about the importance of telling a story. Yeah. Um, when you know, I have my personal page. It's pretty easy to tell my story because I'm talking Cause, about me. Because it's your life. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So. How, so what are you trying to communicate with business leaders and how to tell a story? Yeah, I think for Dave and I, we really started talking about the technology, and as much as the technology is interesting, um, it doesn't change the basic premise of what you have to do to be a successful business, which is really uh, engaging with your customers. Um, it's not enough, especially in the wine business, it's not enough to have a good product. Everyone's got a good product, um, and consumers can't try all the products, and they can't remember them all. So really it's about what do you do to differentiate yourself, and what is it that really makes your brand stand out above other brands, uh, if not the sheer quality of the wine you're producing? Well, the answer is a story that they can latch on to and feel personally connected to. Um, whether it's because they, you know, they got a chance to meet you personally and, and communicate with you, or you answered their email or their phone call, uh, you gave them a tour of the vineyards, whatever the thing was, or whether it's because you have an interesting story, and, and Dave talks about Frog's Leap, how their first story is that they stole all the grapes to make their first batch of wine. Like, that's a great story, and people can latch on to that. And if they're going to have a dinner party, they're going to think, well, like, what wine should I get? And they're like, hey, you know what? This is a great story. I can, I can get this wine and pour it, and people will like it, and I can tell the story, and that's going to be something that, that's rich. So for us, social media is really about doing that more efficiently and at much larger scale. Uh, there was a limit for a long time, for you know, years, hundreds of thousands of years basically, on how, hundreds and thousands of years, uh, on how much you could physically get done in terms of personal connections. Like, I can only meet so many people in a day, I can only take so many phone calls. But uh, with Facebook, with Twitter, uh, with you know, Yelp, with social media in general, your ability to communicate with people is, is greatly increased. It's much more efficient, it's much more effective, and it's definitely much more scalable. And one of the really cool things that comes out of that is it's a two-way conversation where you can hear back from them as much as um, you're giving them your message. You're also hearing how that is affecting them and weaving them into the narrative. So it's really part of something they're really personally committed to. For Facebook vets like me, where it was only for students. That's uh, right. Why should we keep an open mind about this rapid expansion of the network? Yeah, I think there's this great kind of uh, funny thing. When we were the early days of Facebook and building things, it was really easy. We knew what to build next because we were all college kids and we knew what we wanted, so we just built that thing. Um, one thing that's really, really been really interesting for us is as we grow in the audience, we find that we build simpler and simpler things for much bigger and bigger effects. And at some point, we had to ask this kind of famous this question that we just always think about, which is like, if I had to choose between building something really, really cool, like some really cool feature, or adding your best friend to the site, which one adds more value to your life? And the answer is your best friend, like every time. Or you have terrible friends, but usually for most people, it's your best friend. Um, and that for us was a really a, a kind of changing way to look at it, is we don't need to build every widget. We have a platform, people can build every kind of niche piece they need. What we really need to do is make sure that the people and entities that, I, that are a part of my daily life uh, are things that I interact with online. Like, it's a real representation of that social, the real world kind of social connection. So uh, I think for us, for people who are, have been there a long time, listen, change is hard, we know that. Um, when I built Newsfeed, people didn't exactly like it very much, you may recall. Um, but ultimately, I think we really have a, a clarity of, of our vision for everyone being able to connect to all the things in the real world that are out there in a really much richer, much more dynamic way, um, in a way that really gives back to them in a way that you couldn't before. Um, so that's our vision, and hopefully, uh, you know, the, the early adopters of Facebook will, will see it that way, and, and we're pretty committed to making sure that the value proposition we're, we're putting forth comes, comes to, to fruition. I think a cool development of Facebook is the ability to separate things, like separate parts of your life. Sure. Like you have the friend list. more controls about who can see what, yep. and you can... You can conduct a personal exchange while also doing whatever else. This is a, this is a, a real trade-off. I talked about simplicity and how important it is to be simple and, and build something that's universal. At the same time, um, giving people granular control over their interactions is so important. Um, if I have any concern at all that some piece of content I'm going to post is going to um, end up in the wrong hands, I simply won't post it. And then not only do we as Facebook lose a little bit of value that we could have created, but your friends who could have seen that content safely also lose. And you lose because you're not out there having that, that dialogue. So for us, giving the right granular controls, whether it be through friend lists or the per object privacy stuff that we just launched, yeah, super important. Uh, you know, definitely a, a worthwhile addition to the site, yeah. Cool. And so give us the dirt on Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, dude, he's a good friend, man. I, honestly, the funny thing about Zuck is that, uh, you know, he... Eats, breathes, sleeps Facebook. You know, I used to think when I was a younger man that I wanted to be a CEO. After seeing, it's after seeing that job, man, 
seeing the job that he's done um, and how much uh, focus and intensity it takes for him to, to kind of do it at the level that he's done it. Um, my hat's off to him. I'm glad I don't have his job. And, and I, people, people question it, but he is the real deal. The number of times I've been wrong about something that he was right about, it's embarrassing. I'm not going to tell you. It's embarrassing. Um, he really knows his stuff, and he's, got, he's, he's, he's always a few steps ahead of us, and we're just trying to keep up.